Hi, I'm Keith McAvoy, CEO of Success That Works and founder of Supercharge Academy. What we're going to look at today is one of the reasons why most people are only running at half speed, if even that. And you're probably in this as well, and you'll recognize this. The reason is that, that most people don't have, they have no metric. They have nothing that they are using day in, day out, week in, week out, to track how they are progressing against their biggest goals, the things they want out of life. And that's, that's what, what I want you to, to really think about is, is what is your metric? And, and here's why metrics are really important. Because achieving our goals is complicated. There's lots of stuff we can be doing. There's loads of different things, and we have to all the time is figure out what's working, what's not, are we getting towards things, is there a better way of doing stuff? And when all this is thrown on top of us and we haven't got a metric, it becomes very difficult to figure out what it is that we're trying to do and what's working and what's not. And, and this is essentially why metrics are really important. So what does a metric do for us? It does three really important things for us. The first thing it tells us is, where am I today? If I was to take a number, where am I today? And the second thing it says is that it allows us to figure out what it is that we need to be tomorrow, yeah? So what does, if I'm at zero today, and where do I want to be tomorrow? What's my goal? My goal is to be at 100, whatever it is, yeah? Whatever number you come up with. That's all the metric is doing. It's saying I'm here today, and I want to be at this number tomorrow, or this number next week, or this number next year, whatever that number is. And here's the critical part. The third thing that metric allows you to do it allows you to track. So it allows you to track your progress. So let's take an example of this uh, to, to really hone by and make sure that this is really clear. Um, so let's, let's say, for example, we're gonna drive from New York to, to Washington DC, okay? So it's dead simple, I'm in my car, and I'm gonna start off in, in New York, yeah? And I'm gonna drive, or I want to drive, to DC, yeah? So distance, well, approximately 400 miles, yeah? So how am I going to use a metric to basically make sure I know where I am today, I know where I'm going to be tomorrow, and I'm going to most importantly track how I'm doing against that. So I'm going to suggest to you the metric we'd use for something like this is, is the miles, the miles traveled. Okay? So I'm going to track two things. First of all, I'm going to get into my car and I'm going to drive 100 miles. Yeah? So I drive 100 miles. Yeah? And what I do is I check two things at this point. I say, okay, I have 100 miles driven, and how many miles have I left to do? Yep, so how many miles between where I am now and DC? Yep, so it should be 400 minus 100, should be 300 miles to go, yeah? So if there's 300 miles to go, I'm on track. Yep, you agree with that? Okay, so I drive another 100 miles, okay? And I check the same thing, so I've now driven 100 plus 100, so I've now driven 200 miles. And here is again, I, I need to track my progress. So how far am I from DC now? And I should be 400 minus 200, yeah? So I should be 200 miles from DC. Now, here's where tracking is really important, because when we start off a journey, it's very easy to, go, to follow it through. But things start happening in the middle. Things get confusing, overwhelmed, roadworks, blockages. So here's what can happen, with, uh, same with our journey, but in our normal lives, is I drive another 100 miles, but this time, I drive it there, okay? And I get to this time, I've driven another 100 miles, I've now driven 300 miles. How many miles am I from DC? I'm still 200 miles from DC. And what this is telling me, something really important, is that I put all this effort in, driving another 100 miles, but actually it's gotten me no closer to my goals. And that's the big red warning flying that a metric can tell us. A metric can tell us things aren't going right, something is wrong, have a look, find out what's going on. And if I'm tracking it, look, I can see, whoa, hang on a second, I drove 100 miles, got no closer to my goals, what's going on? And then I can look at what I did, what did I do? Uh, I took a wrong turn at Philadelphia, yeah? But I now know that, I can course correct. I can go, oh, hang on a second. Let's course correct again. So, another 100 miles, so I drive 400 miles. I'm now 100 miles away from 
Washington DC, I drive another 100 miles, and I get to my destination. And that's the way that we can use a metric to figure out where we are, where we're going to, and most importantly, is to get ourselves on track and recognize when we're off track and flag, you've got to do something about this. Now, the great thing about cars nowadays is actually we've got this tracking system automatically built into our cars. It's GPS, and it tells us straight away, minute by minute, what the difference is between how many miles we've traveled versus where we're supposed to go to. And as soon as you take a wrong turn, it goes, warning, warning, you know, do a U-turn or whatever it is. That is a, a metric working at its best in real time telling you this is what you're, do what you're doing and how, how to course correct. But you need that for your own life. You need that for the most important things that you're doing. If your ambition in life or your ambition for the next year is to, to um, get a promotion at work, what is the metric that you are using to, to go and make that happen? What, what are you doing about it? How are you measuring that? Right? If your ambition in life is to, to go and grow your business, what's the metric that you're using to see if that's happening or not? Where will your business be at the end of this 12 months? Where's your tomorrow? And how are you gonna track that you're getting towards that? Are you gonna track it weekly, monthly, six monthly? How are you gonna do that? Because if you haven't figured that out, you're in danger, and it's not in danger, this will happen to you. You will go off course because there is so much other stuff to get you distracted and to overwhelm you. So if you are serious about getting yourself off half speed, because that's what this is, every distraction, you might think you've been busy, but you're not. You're not getting any closer towards your goal. So to get off half speed and back to full speed, you need to make sure that you're following your direction and you know instantly when you start going off track and you've got that red warning flag to get you right back on course. So I hope this helps. Go and earn your worth.